Hey there, this is Sean Rice from the International Tour of the Adams Family, and thank you for joining me on Living Out of Suitcases. This week I've got some wonderful tips for when you first check into your hotel. We've got a new book in our book club, and Lurch will be giving us a little backstage tour of the Adams Family set. But first, we got to spend our favorite Adamsy holiday, Halloween, in Wilmington, Delaware. Now you've seen how the Adams Family spent their Halloween, but here's how the Adams Family cast and crew spent their golden day in Wilmington. Wilmington is the largest city in Delaware and was a great place to spend some time this time of year. A walk down Market Street gives you access to a lot of fun shops and a look at some of the great northeastern architecture. If you're hungry, I suggest heading on over to the Washington Street Ale House. They have some of the best food in town and not for so pricey prices. And if you're in town with a show, they'll give you a 20% starving actor discount. If you're a little adventurous, walk through historic Quaker Hill down to the riverside, where you'll find lots of great places to eat some fun shops, and can even take in a movie all along the beautiful riverfront setting. Even on a gloomy, Adamsy day like today, it's a sight to see. If you're traveling with youngsters, make sure to stop by the Delaware Children's Museum, where through January they can experience the wonders of the Wizard of Oz. Talk like the great and powerful Oz, design a scarecrow, explore Dorothy's house, follow the yellow brick road throughout the scenes of the movie in this whimsical, interactive children's experience. For a more adult museum experience, head on over to the Delaware History Museum and see how Delaware has grown and thrived through the years. With the poultry industry leading the way for Delaware, the museum boasts having the largest frying pan in the world, which was used at the Delaware State Fair for many years to fry numerous chickens at once. Wilmington is also a very arts-conscious town, hosting First Friday events at local galleries and offering a number of local, regional, and touring theater houses. We happened to be there during the Wilmington Fringe Festival, which threw spotlight on a number of different local visual and performing artists, offering showings throughout the city for four days. We caught a wonderful performance of Christopher Durang pieces, so if you're in town during the festival, be sure to check it out. When you travel a lot, you stay in a lot of hotel rooms. A lot. I mean a lot. So many! And moving from room to room every day has its hazards. You have a huge chance of leaving something behind. Here's how to alleviate some of that risk. CONSISTENCY! Most of the rooms you'll stay in will look alike. Almost exactly alike. Which is great, gives you some consistency in your life. Make sure you have consistency in your packing and unpacking as well. When you first get to your room, make it a ritual to unpack the same things every time and put them in about the same place. I always unpack my power strip and plug it in right near the bed. That way it's right there for me to plug in my phone and everything I need. Second, I take my toiletries and I put them in the bathroom near the sink. Third, I take my kitchenware and I put it near the microwave and refrigerator. By keeping things in relatively the same place, you'll be less likely to leave something behind. When you're getting ready to leave, remember to pack up everything in the same order every time. I know, these seem like no-brainers. But when your alarm doesn't go off and you've got five minutes to pack up everything you own and get down to the bus before it leaves you, you will be happy that you have a ritual to keep you from leaving stuff back in the hotel. Oh, and lastly, right before you leave, do an idiot check. Basically a quick look around the room, under the bed, in the closets, in the bathroom, just to make sure you didn't leave anything behind or drop something as you were going to your suitcase. Hopefully these tips will help you to keep all of your stuff with you on the road. I've told you before, I'm a big reader. Our Adams Family Book Club book from October was a lot of fun. In fact, we're just starting our discussions about it, and we're just getting ready to start our new book for November now. To tell you a little more about it, here's Adams Family cast member Lexi Dorset. The next book we're reading in the book club is Bossy Pants by Tina Fey, and I chose this book because I think Tina Fey is a hilarious comedian, and I heard from a lot of friends how interesting it was how she discussed being a woman in um, the business world. If you've already read the book or plan to read along with us, please comment down below and let us know what you think.
Thanks for joining me this week. Now, if you haven't noticed, I've changed my lineup a little bit, so I hope you'll join me on Wednesday for a look at the Adams Family in Adams Family Portraits, and then here again next Sunday for Gaming Out of Suitcases. If you liked what you saw here today, please comment, like, and share with all of your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, all those great social medias out there, and subscribe. And if there are any interesting places that you think I should visit in our upcoming cities, please let me know down in the comments. Ta-ta for now!